The United Kingdom's new payments architecture promises a radical approach that will open up opportunities for the wider payments ecosystem in the UK and across the world. Known as the NPA, it will provide the lower barriers to entry, generating more competitors, which in turn will result in the development of different payments, business models and product and service innovations. Well, to explore this in uh, greater detail that will benefit the international payments community, we're delighted to join by Shane Warman, MPA Programme Director at Pay.UK. Shane, it is great to have you here. It's great to be here. Uh, looking resplendent as well. <laughs> I was talking about how great this outfit is before we started. Great to see to have some colour here on the, uh, on the sofas. Um, let's start off with, with something simple. Just explain to us what the MPA will do and what its benefits are. So, look, the MPA is a payment system uh, in the UK. Uh, the UK was the first country to have a real-time payment solution. That was a, about 2008. Uh, it needs to be, it needed to be updated. There was a process that was run a number of years ago, about eight years ago, with the regulators, uh, where they identified a number of changes that need to be made to it to modernise it. And one of those things that they, the way in order to deliver that, they decided the best way to do that would be to effectively build a new system. So that's what it is. It's a part of the wider payment, it underpins the payments ecosystem in the UK. So why is Pay.UK uh, doing this now? Uh, and why is the MPA, uh, MPA needed, would you say? Well, the reason why we're doing it now is because the regulators have told us we have to. Um, <laughs> so that's the, that's, that's the case for change. And it is the right thing to do. So as I said, the, the Faster Payments, which is the name of the current real-time payment solution in the UK, is about 18 years old, or 15 to 18 years old. Um, it, when it was, you know, the world has changed. The, the, the world has changed. You know, we've moved to ISO as a messaging standard. It doesn't support mm -hmm. ISO. Uh, if you look at the growth in volumes, we need, yeah, we need a faster, we need a faster solution. We need something that supports interoperability globally. So, yeah, that's that's why it's happening now. We're, now is the right time to make the change to create, you know, the system of the future. So, what are the benefits domestically? Would you say? So domestic benefits, so the key thing that actually it's not just domestically, is globally, is fraud and fraud prevention, mm -hmm. fraud detection and prevention. So one of the things it will do, it will enable us to do a far better job at uh, fraud detection and prevention. So that would, that's got to help the wider ecosystem and, and end users, particularly vulnerable users. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the other things, it will allow, because we're moving to a global messaging standard, it will allow us, allow interoperability globally. Um, and it will also be, in the long term, it will be much cheaper to run. Mm. So interoperability, is that the key kind of global benefit, would you say, or are there others as well? And I think so. It's one of them. But uh, the, other, the other is that it will allow uh, people who don't currently operate in the UK mm -hmm. uh, to be able to come and operate in the UK to create a better ecosystem and come and play in our ecosystem. So, you know, the smaller, we're lowering the barriers to entry, so making it cheaper and more cost effective for people to come and join, because the costs of joining at the moment are, you know, they're, they're not low. So we're, we're looking to lower those. So more people can come to the UK and do business, which has to be better for the global economy and also the UK economy. So what's exciting you guys the most about delivering the MPA? Delivering it. Yeah. I'm a delivery person, so that's what you'd expect. Um, I, so it is, it is those use cases that don't yet exist or the innovation that will happen, I think, is the thing that excites us most. Mm. Um, I think so that's, that's, that's a long-term goal. You know, short-term, the, the fact that it will be safer, more secure and more resilient than the current systems today and it is the foundation for the, and it will actually be able to be, it will be able to support more volume is really key. So how does it slot into the, the wider payments ecosystem as we see it? Um, so in the UK, it, un, it will underpin the it will underpin the payments ecosystem. So it is effectively the bit that sits in the middle mm. that enables money to move between bank accounts. The wider ecosystem. So we have in the UK open banking. So the open banking transactions can, can go through there. So it, 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 it underpins the account to moving of money between bank accounts, and that's how it supports the wider ecosystem. And most importantly, why does the MPA really matter? Right? <laughs> uh, for it, the, it really matters because it, it, it is, it's giving us a foundation for the future. Okay? If we didn't make the change that we're making now, the, we could become irrelevant, or it could, it could, there, it, 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 we won't have the opportunities to solve the problems we've got particularly it, it, as easily, particularly around fraud detection and prevention. Mm. It's, the, it's the real, it's one of the 
key use cases that I think it's going to enable. It is a growing problem, not just domestically, but globally, but the way in which it will enable us to solve that problem easier and more efficiently has got to be, got to be one really key reason for doing it right now. Well, laying the foundations of the future is what Cybos is, of course, all about. Indeed. Uh, and thank you so much for giving us a little bit of time in your busy schedule here That's right. in Toronto. That's Shane Warman, MPA Programme Director at Pay.UK. Thank you once again for joining us on Cybos TV. Thank you for having me.